Rajmani and I'm Anuja Kumar with the Midday News. The headlines In Telangana campaigning to close this evening polling on Thursday Standard & Poor's Global predicts India's economic growth at 6.4% for fiscal year 2024-25. Prime Minister Narendra Modi takes stock of the situation of trapped workers in the Silkyara Tunnel in Uttarakhand. Rescue operation is in full swing. Truce in Gaza extended by two more days as Israel and Hamas release more hostages. The finale of 54th International Film Festival of India in Goa today. And in sports, India to take on Australia in the third T20 Cricket International in Guwahati this evening. Haryana and Punjab to clash for National Hockey Championship in Chennai in the afternoon. And now the news in detail. In Telangana, campaigning will come to an end this evening. The campaigning will end at 4 p.m. in 13 remote constituencies, whereas it concludes at 5 p.m. in the remaining 106 constituencies. Polling will be held in all 119 constituencies on Thursday. Meanwhile, senior leaders of all major parties are making last-ditch efforts to win over the electors. Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde is electioneering in Adilabad, whereas his deputy Devendra Fadnavis is campaigning in Devrakonda in support of the BJP candidates. Union Minister Sadhvi Niranjan Jyoti is holding a poll rally in Hanam Konda, while another minister, Bhagwant Karad, is campaigning in Sangareddi district. BJP spokesperson Dr. Sambit Patra flagged off a bike rally at Alwal in support of BJP candidate. Tamil Nadu Chief, BJP chief Annamalai is campaigning in Nizamabad urban constituency. Jansena Party Chief Pavan Kalyan will hold a roadshow later this afternoon in Hyderabad. Meanwhile, Congress senior leader Rahul Gandhi assured that a welfare board will be formed to address the auto rickshaw drivers in Telangana. He assured to streamline the welfare programs meant for them to ensure the benefits to all. He interacted with auto rickshaw drivers, sanitation workers and gig workers in Hyderabad. Congress star campaigner Priyanka Gandhi is addressing a public meeting in Zahirabad constituency. A report. As the electioneering reached to the highest level in Telangana, the campaigning touched its lowest with allegations and counter-allegations between various parties. BJP Rajya Sabha member Dr. K. Lakshman claimed that people of Telangana have made up their mind to welcome BJP and say bye-bye to BRS. Pradesh Congress President Revant Reddy alleged that Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao has come to Kama Reddy to contest only with an eye on the local farmlands. Rajasthan Chief Minister Ashok Gelad found fault with BJP for its top leaders coming to Telangana for campaigning. BRS top leaders alleged that the Congress is misusing its men and material of Karnataka in Telangana. Lakshmi, Akashwani News, Hyderabad. India's economic growth is likely to rise at 6.4% for fiscal year 2024-25, according to the Standard & Poor's S&P Global. However, the agency cautioned that high flood inflation I beg your pardon, that high food inflation and weak exports can cast a shadow on growth in the years ahead. In its economic outlook for Asia-Pacific, it said, growth this year and the next is on track to be the strongest in emerging market economies with higher domestic demand. Prime Minister Narendra Modi took stock of the relief and rescue operations being carried out to rescue the 41 workers trapped in the collapsed Silkyara Tunnel in Uttarkashi district of Uttarakhand. Speaking to Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami on the phone, the Prime Minister gave instructions to take special care of the safety of the workers trapped inside the tunnel as well as the people engaged in rescue work. Meanwhile, rescue operations are in full swing in Silkyara. Rat hole mining experts are pressed into service to rescue the 41 workers and they began manual drilling through the rubble while the auger machine is being used used to push horizontal pipes in the tunnel. Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami reached the incident site today and inspected the rescue operations. Talking to media, Mr. Dhami said that all the engineers, experts and other people are working at their full capacity to rescue the stranded workers. He expressed hope that this rescue operation will be completed soon. 
जितने भी हमारे वैज्ञानिक हैं जितने इसके विशेषज्ञ हैं भारत सरकार राज्य सरकार और भी संस्थानों के टनल के क्षेत्र में काम करने वाले उस सारे लोग अपना प्रयास कर रहे हैं हमारे आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी भी लगातार उन सब के बारे में कि किसी प्रकार की उनको कोई दिक्कत न हो सभी सुरक्षित बाहर निकले टेक्नोलॉजी का ठीक प्रकार से उपयोग हो वहां पर उन सबकी लगातार चिंता कर रहे हैं The center will launch the first tranche auction of critical and strategic minerals tomorrow. 20 blocks of critical and strategic minerals spread across the country are to be auctioned. This is a landmark initiative that will boost India's economy, enhance national security and support transition to a clean energy future. Ministry of Mines in a statement said that the auction will be held online through a transparent two-stage ascending forward auction process. The Supreme Court today refused to entertain the bail plea of DMK minister V Senthil Balaji who was arrested by the enforcement directorate in a money laundering case. Balaji was seeking the bail on health grounds. The top court was hearing an appeal against an order of the Madras High Court which dismissed his bail plea on 19th of October saying he was likely to influence witnesses if enlarged on bail. In a significant continuation of the nationwide movement towards inclusive development, the Viksit Bharat Sankalp Yatra reached the heart of Chandigarh today. Governor of Punjab and Administrator of Chandigarh, Banwari Lal Purohit, flagged off an Information, Education and Communication or IEC vehicle as part of this transformative campaign from Chandigarh. <laughs> भारत का अनमोल यही समय है असंख्य भुजाओ की शक्ति है गली गली में देश भक्ति है तुम उठो तिरंगा Viksit Bharat Sankalp Yatra aims to bring the advantages of the government schemes to all segments of society. The ground activities planned for Chandigarh include interactive sessions with beneficiaries, celebrations of local achievements, on-the-spot quiz competitions and health camps, aligning with the overarching goal of fostering inclusive development. The Viksit Bharat Sankalp Yatra has started in Delhi today. The yatra was flagged off by Delhi Lieutenant Governor Vinay Kumar Saxena in the presence of Delhi MPs and senior officials. A huge crowd was present during the flagging off event. Speaking on this occasion, the LG said the central government has launched various welfare schemes like PM Awas and Ayushman Bharat scheme for the people of the country under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He said the objective of the yatra is to disseminate information and create awareness about the various welfare schemes launched by the center our correspondent reports that under the yatra information and communication vans will travel across the 11 districts of delhi and cover more than 600 locations during the event the lieutenant governor along with mps of delhi and senior officials took the viksit bharat sankalp pledge prime minister narendra modi had launched the yatra on the 15th of this month This is Akashwani giving you the news for quick news updates around the clock follow us on our twitter handle at air news alerts The 54th International Film Festival of India or IFI will come to a close in Goa today. The closing ceremony will be held at Dr. Shyama Prasad Mukherjee Indoor Stadium in Bambolan in the evening. A host of film personalities and other dignitaries will be present on the occasion. More from our correspondent. Robert Colodny directed American film Featherweight is the closing film this year. A number of awards will be presented at the ceremony including the best film, best director, best actor male and female, special jury and best web series. More than 270 films were screened during the 9 day event this year. These include 13 world premieres, 18 international premieres, 62 Asia premieres and 89 India premieres. For those not registered as delegates, open air screenings were held at the Miramar Beach in Panji, Anjana Beach in North Goa, and Rabindra Open Lawn in Madgaon. With Ashok Shukla, Shruti Ojha, Akashwani News, Goa. Union Minister for Women and Child Development Smriti Irani today launched the National Outreach Program on Anganwadi Protocol for Divyang Children. The protocol embraces a social model for Divyang Jan inclusive nutrition care. It includes screening for early disability signs, inclusion in community events and referral support through ASHA and ANM teams. 
Addressing the gathering on the occasion, the minister said, for the first time, the Anganwadi workers will help in the screening of children for identifying any kind of disabilities. भारत सरकार और प्रदेश सरकारों के समन्वय से हमारी आंगनवाड़ी व्यवस्था ने अब तक आज लगभग हम नवंबर के अंत में मिल रहे हैं अब तक हमारी बहनों ने 16 करोड़ होम विजिट देश भर में किए हैं Qatar has said that an agreement has been reached to extend the temporary truce in Gaza between Israel and Hamas by two more days. In a social media post on Monday, Qatar's foreign ministry spokesperson Majid Al Ansari said that the truce between Israel and Hamas in the Gaza Strip will be extended by two days, opening the way for further releases of hostages and prisoners. This follows the release of 11 hostages by Hamas on Monday in fourth such swap under the original four-day truce which had begun on Friday. Russia, Ukraine, Moldova, Georgia and Bulgaria faced extreme winter storms on Monday, killing 8 and leaving 2 million people without electricity. Called as the storm of the century, the extreme weather has affected Russia's Dagestan, Krasnodar and Rostov, as well as Donetsk, Crimea, Luhansk, Kherson and Zaporizhia in Ukraine. Sierra Leone lifted a nationwide curfew today which followed an armed rebellion attacking military barracks and a prison in the capital city of Freetown. Army spokesperson Colonel Issa Bangura said 20 people were killed including 13 soldiers, 3 assailants, a police officer, a civilian and someone working in private security in the violence on Sunday. He added 8 people were wounded and 3 arrested. Back home Delhi received scattered rainfall last night however the capital's air quality remained in the very poor category as the AQI or air quality index stood at 359 this morning at least 16 flights were diverted from Delhi to Jaipur Lucknow Amritsar and Ahmedabad after operations at the capital's airport were impacted because of rain and lightning an official of Delhi's Indira Gandhi International Airport said IMD official said that the national capital received the rainfall as a result of western disturbance which traveled over NCR after bringing heavy rain to Gujarat and Rajasthan over the weekend. Asia's largest open air annual trade fair the Bali Jatra commemorating the glorious ancient maritime legacy of Odisha was inaugurated on the banks of Mahanadi River in Katak last evening every year the festival begins on the occasion of Kartik Purnima and continues till 4th of December cultural troops from across Odisha and other states will perform Odissi Chau Bihu Mahari Gotipua Sambalpuri Santhali folk dance and other dance forms in the evenings of the fair ground In sports in cricket India will take on Australia in the third T20 international in Guwahati today the match will start at 7 pm indian time the hosts are currently leading the five match series 2-0 india won the first game by two wickets at visakhapatnam and in the second T20 defeated australia by 44 runs in tiruvananthapuram Haryana and Punjab will clash for the title of 13th Senior Men's National Hockey Championship in Chennai this afternoon. Punjab beat Karnataka 5-1 yesterday while Haryana scored over Tamil Nadu through penalty shootout. And now before we end the bulletin the headlines once again. In Telangana campaigning to close this evening polling on Thursday. Standard and Poor's Global Predicts India's economic growth at 6.4% for fiscal year 2024-25. Prime Minister Narendra Modi takes stock of the situation of trapped workers in the Silkyara tunnel in Uttarakhand. Rescue operation is in full swing. Truce in Gaza extended by two more days as Israel and Hamas release more hostages. The finale of 54th International Film Festival of India in Goa today. and in sports india to take on australia in the third t20 cricket international in guwahati this evening haryana and punjab to clash for national hockey championship in chennai in the afternoon for details of these stories and more log on to our website www.newsonair.gov.in and news on air app and with that we end the midday news